So your company has decided to start a drone program. Congratulations. Today we're going to cover the five steps that our customers use to create a successful drone program. Hi, I'm Rusty with Gresco Technology. One of the most common stories we hear is people get excited about starting their drone program and they go out and first thing they buy a drone. And then unfortunately, it ends up sitting on a shelf for months, even a year. What we recommend is starting a metered approach and the first step is to establish a team around your drone program. You wanna pull stakeholders that have an interest in your operations from all around your organization. That could be from the actual operators in the field that are collecting the data and flying the drone. That can be from the processing of the data, so the IT or OT personnel within your organization. Training department, your safety department, anything to do with corporate compliance. Really, anybody within your organization is going to be impacted by the use of drones. Once you have your team in place, the second step is to draft a corporate policy. You want to make sure that you have a written corporate policy around drones before you start your operations. It's important to have this document in place because it's the blueprint of how your organization is going to operate and it sets the standards for all future operations of drones. Some things to consider for your policy would be what roles need to be defined for the workflow of drones for your operations and what insurance requirements are particular to your needs. For this and other resources in developing your policy, please visit our website. All right, step three. Now it's time to get your pilot certified. In order to operate a drone legally, you're going to need to have certified pilots, and that involves two steps. You need your pilots to pass a knowledge exam at one of the FAA's knowledge testing centers, and you need to have them pass a background check. It's as simple as that. The fourth step, and this is the fun one, is when you choose your equipment. This is where you need to decide which equipment is going to help you do your job better in the field. When it comes to equipment, there's a wide array of options, from which aircraft to use, which camera to put on the aircraft, what other sensors you could put on there. There are options for every price point. Choosing the right equipment can be a daunting process, but it doesn't have to be. We're here to walk with you hand in hand to make sure you get the right equipment for your application. Now for the final step. It's time to create a set of standard operating procedures for your organization. It's best to start with a small team of operators. Have them get out in the field with the equipment, and that's when you'll learn what are the right procedures to capture the data that you're actually looking for, and what are the risk profiles for the different environments you'll be operating in. Use what you learn there to set the standards so that you can scale these operations throughout your organization. Following these five steps will help you set a foundation for a successful UAS program. On behalf of Gresco Technology Solutions, thank you for watching. To learn more, Check out some of our other videos on our YouTube channel and subscribe. Be sure to check out our social media channels and visit our website at gruscouas.com. We encourage you to comment below with any video requests that you have. And thank you for watching.